Hi friends, my name is Tony Grigri. I am an IELTS trainer at Darshana Academy, Kotayam. Today we will try to discuss about a few things you should remember while you try to prepare for your IELTS academic reading test. So uh, IELTS academic reading test material is taken from uh, magazines or journals or maybe newspapers you know, uh, for your reading uh, test. So uh, the purpose of this test is to assess your level of understanding and your reading skills while you go for studying at a postgraduate or an undergraduate level in an English speaking environment. So for a reading test there are about 40 questions spanned over about three passages. So there are certain things you should be remembering while you try to attend these questions. The first thing to remember is that you should be able to understand, you should be able to guess all the kind of questions that may come into your IELTS academic reading test. So there are about 11 question types uh, which may come into your exam. So these include you know, identifying the information uh, from the passage. The second one is identifying the uh, writer's claim or opinion from the passage. Then uh, multiple choice questions may come uh, or match the information, match the sentence settings or uh, match the headings and so on. So similarly there are in total 11 type of questions that may come into your exam. Uh, when you get the passage, the first thing you should remember is there are several ways that you can approach, uh, that you can you know take while you uh, attend this test. The one I would suggest is uh, the first you should go through a skimming process of the passage. That is you should go through the whole passage for you know uh, very fastly without taking much time in very short time so once you are clear about the type of questions that may come into your uh, IELTS academic reading test now is the time to uh, how how we can approach the passage so when you get a passage there are several ways you can approach it the one I would suggest is that first you go through the whole passage in a very short time and this process is called skimming but this shouldn't take you any long because uh, you are you shouldn't be hoping to understand the whole passage in a single read because there may be certain vocabularies which may come into your uh, passage which 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 may be uh, alien to you so uh, try to read the whole passage try to go through each and every word without losing concentration in a very short time so once you are complete uh, with uh, the skimming process now is the time to go to the questions so once you read the questions try to figure out the keywords in the questions. So the keywords, uh, once you understand the keywords, try to locate the keywords in the passage. And this process is called scanning. That is, you have to scan the whole passage for the keywords. So finding keywords may be a bit tricky sometimes because uh, sometimes the keywords may not be given as it is given in the question in the passage. So uh, sometimes they may be given as synonyms or paraphrases of phrases in the question so this is an essential skill that you should be developing on your preparation for your IELTS academic reading test because uh, finding keywords is the key so once you uh, find the keyword now comes the most important part which is reading for details sometimes candidates confuse the keywords uh, for answers and you know uh, sometimes they may uh, find the wrong answer so uh, they may sometimes they may end up with the wrong answer and uh, so it's essential that you read very carefully for the details uh, uh, around the keywords so once you have read the details you it may be easier for you to find the answer several things to remember while you attend this test the first thing is that don't expect to understand the whole passage uh, while you read so the, as I've already said that so there are several there there can be several vocabularies that may be new to you. So don't panic in the examination hall if you get uh, a lot of vocabularies that are not familiar to you. The second thing to remember is to attend all the questions. Don't leave any question and uh, since there is no negative marking, uh, you are uh, you, you should be able to attend all the questions, particularly in uh, yes no not given question or true false not given question. Try to attend all the questions and sometimes your lucky guess uh, may fetch you marks. Another thing to remember is not to answer the questions based on your previous knowledge on the subject.
sometimes a person uh, specialized in a particular area may get a topic belonging to their sp uh, uh, field of specialization so they may answer the questions based on their previous knowledge on the subject so that is not advised to do because the answer to the question given in your passage is entirely from the passage itself so any bias while answering questions may lead you for uh, wrong answers another thing that you must remember while answering the questions is to is not to spend too much time on a single question because spending more than one or two minutes on a single question uh, may eat up your time on much easier questions that you may be able to answer so uh, it's wise to move on to the next question and come back to the unattended questions later so these are some of the essential tips or uh, steps that you should be able you should be able to follow while you prepare for your IELTS reading test so practice a lot so that you don't panic in the examination hall practice a lot so that you develop some essential skills you may be requiring like you know finding the keywords or phrases or synonyms so that's it thank you very much all the best